It's decision time in the search for Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. This is what's news on WSJ Live. I'm Jason Bellini. Three days have passed since possible pings have been detected from the black boxes of Flight 370, but the searchers are hearing the sound of silence. And the Australian authorities are trying to determine if they have enough information to begin an underwater search that would involve an unmanned submersible crawling the ocean floor, which, as WSJ's John Ostroder points out, is deeper than Mount Rainier turned upside down. The slow search by a submersible drone would potentially happen if the assumption were made that the batteries on the black box's pinger had run out. Comcast is making its case to federal regulators on its deal to acquire Time Warner Cable. Its argument, there's plenty of competition in video and broadband thanks to new technologies. The company filed its notification with the Justice Department last week. Regulators are likely to focus in on the effects of the combined company controlling roughly 40% of broadband subscribers and 30 million cable subscribers. And President Obama is hoping to reduce the salary gap between men and women, a move that could help shore up support of Democratic candidates among women voters. One of his two executive orders prohibits